Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one program that is to find the given number is a strong number or not. So first let us see the logic for this strong number so that we can implement the same thing in your own language. If you want to implement in C language, use the syntax for C language. And if you want to implement in Python, you use the syntax for Python, right? But the logic will be same. So first, what is a strong number and how can we uh, identify the number is a strong number or not? So if any number, consider any number and if the sum of a factorial of individual digits is equal to given number, then we can say it as a strong number. For example, Consider 145, right? So we need to check whether 145 is a strong number or not. So what is the individual digits here? 1, 4 and 5. So first we need to find the individual digits. Then apply the factorial. 1 factorial, 4 factorial and 5 factorial. So that's the second step. That means the first thing, identify individual digits first step second step find the factorial find the factorial for digits next <clears throat> sum these factorials so one factorial plus four factorial plus five factorial Sum all the factorial of individual digits. So like this we need to apply and we need to check whether the sum is equal to the given number. For example, so this is 1 plus 24 plus 120. So which is nothing but 145 so that is the same number right so identify the individual digits find the find the factorial and add the sum so these are the three steps we need to do and we know that so in order to identify the individual digits okay in order to identify the individual digits what we have to do so if you want to get a 5 if you want to get a 5 so simply consider this as a n apply this one n mod 10 will give the last digit last digit right so always n mod 10 it will give last digit that is nothing but units position units position so just remember this one because uh, if you are trying to solve the palindrome program or Armstrong program or uh, number reverse right so this will be useful so n mod 10 if you mod uh, apply the mod operator for any number you will get the units position okay and you in, in order to reduce this number in order to reduce this number right use this one and divided by 10 to reduce the number so what happens here so first if you apply this n mod 10 we will get a 5 and if you reduce this one 145 divided by 10 145 divided by 10 right so we'll get 114 only 14 right so in c language we'll get the integer value if it is python we have to use n double slash 10 to get an integer integer value okay because if it is a version 3 we have to use the floor division to get the integer value so in the second iteration it will be 14 again apply the same thing so we'll get 4 again you divide 10 you'll get a 1 
right so you have to repeat the same process and after finding this one you need to find the factorial for this particular digit so how to find the factorial so start with the one okay multiply this till that number particular number right so one into two into three into four into five so if you want to get a five factorial just simply multiply from one to that particular number right so this you have to uh, you can implement by using either for loop or a while loop whatever it be okay any loop you can use any loop right so this is how and after that you need to sum all the values all these factorials so for example if you find this five factorial we'll get some 120 and again in the second iteration we'll get a four so four factorial we'll get a 24 in the third iteration we'll get a one it will be one so totally sum directly apply the sum so that you'll get 145 which is the given number right so this is the logic to find the strong number whether the number is a strong number or not so you can implement this logic using either c language or a c plus plus or a python whatever it may be use the corresponding syntaxes now let's move on to the system and i will show you executing the same thing by using python so we'll use a python interpreter and i will execute all these logics and i will show you so how we can check whether the given number is a strong number or not so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen the logic to find the whether the number is a strong number or not now we'll write a program for that so let us take one input that's a number so n is equal to take that input so in order to take the input in a python so use the input function so i'm using the input function enter number right so after taking the input just copy this input one to one temporary variable because in in further concepts we are supposed to change the n value and finally we have to compare the sum with this particular number right so i will go with the temp is equal to n so temp will be having the same value as n has right now we have to repeat uh, the steps right first we need to uh, find out the individual digits so for that we need to repeat the steps until n greater than 0 and find out the reminder reminder in order to get the reminder what we have to do so n mod 10 so automatically it will give the reminder so let us print this reminder so print digits we'll get the digits right so digits now you can observe so let us uh, execute this one and we'll see uh, so we have to update the n value n is equal to n floor division 10 so that in the next iteration it will reduce the number will be reduced to two digits then three digits so one digit right if, we, if it starts with the four digits after first iteration it will come with the three digits next uh, two digits next one digit right now execute this one i will go with one two three so it was not printed so just wait So here we are not printing here so digits is equal to reminder now you will get one two three c in the first iteration we are getting three second iteration we are getting two and third iteration we are getting one so what we have to do now we need to find the factorial for this particular three so what i have to do here so for i in a range of one two reminder plus one right reminder plus one so what we have to do so factorial some variable factorial is equal to some factorial into i so initially the factorial value should be one right so for every after every iteration the factorial will be one so initially the factorial will start with one so from one we are just multiplying to that particular number for in the range function we need to give reminder plus one because we have to consider the reminder value also so here reminder is nothing but our digit okay or simply you can go with the digit don't get confused so simply use the digit so digit uh, i in range 1 to fact is equal to fact plus 1 now you can observe here so after completion of this one print factorial factorial so you can simply use this one factorial and use this one so you can observe uh, 
no it's so here it is reminder so it is nothing but digit we have changed it just now so one two three you can observe the digit is three factorial is six after first iteration so in the second iteration two the digit is two the factorial is two digit is one and factorial is one right so if you go with another number some two three four you can observe the first is a four four factorial 24 next three three factorial six two two factorial two so we got this factorial so after that what we have to do so simply you have to sum okay apply the sum so simply use a sum is equal to sum plus factorial sum plus factorial right so you can observe here just print some value so one two three you can oh sorry so initially we have not taken the sum value i will take sum is equal to zero so one two three so you'll get a three six sum is equal to six next digit is two two factorial is two sum is eight so six plus two eight so digits is one factorial is one and sum is nine eight plus one nine so finally we will get we'll get this nine uh, i mean we'll get this sum and this sum should be compared with the given number right now what we have to do so just compare so come outside from the loop now compare if sum is equal to is equal to temp okay so in the temporary we are having n because after this n value will be zero right so sum uh, print temp is strong number and if if not go to the else part that is a false part simply print temp is not a strong number right so if you execute so one four five simply first first digit is five the factorial is 120 and sum is equal to 120 okay and digit is equal to 4 a factorial is 24 and now the sum will be 120 plus 24 144 now digit is equal to 1 factorial is equal to 1 and the sum value is 145 which is nothing but a temporary value so the given value that is a strong number now you can remove all these uh, digits right so because don't get confused so in order to understand i have just used this output statements so for every iteration uh, i just want to show you the digits the factorial and the sum what is the sum value and everything so i am not considering these output statements now you can simply go with 145 so directly we'll get the result 145 is a strong number and simply go with the 123 which is not a strong number because the sum of factorial of all these things will be 8 not the same number right so this is how we can find whether the number is a strong number or not so i am using this uh, uh, python to implement this one and you can use any other programming languages and uh, use the corresponding syntaxes and the logic is same first you need to find the individual digits and then you have to find the factorial for the individual digits and finally uh, add all the factorials so that we have to get the given number so if not the number is not a strong number right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much